What's up guys, it's Koi from Gentleman Within, a channel dedicated to helping men dress better and feel their best, and this video is about how you can make the most of your next conference. So this video is a bit of a departure from my usual style videos, however I think it's a topic worth talking about. And since I recently got back from the conference Menfluential down in Atlanta, Georgia, I wanted to talk about some of these things while they're still fresh in mind. So if you're an introvert like me, chances are that big conferences and networking events can sometimes take a lot out of you. And so it's imperative for us to come equipped with a game plan, and so this video is going to help you with that game plan. As always, after watching, you can hop on over to my blog for a deeper dive on how you can crush it at your next conference and some bonus conversation tips and tactics that I don't talk about in this video. Now let's jump in. Before the conference starts, there's three things that you wanna do. Number one is figure out why you're attending the conference to begin with. What's your primary objective? Do you wanna meet like-minded people or expand your network? Or are you looking to break into the industry of the big players in your niche? Whatever the reason, you have to be extremely clear in exactly what you wanna get out of the conference. Number two, you wanna make connections before the event and so I recommend if there is a Facebook group for the conference join in there introduce yourself follow along with the discussions and see if people are you know forming meetups before the event so that you can join in on you might be able to share lodging with a fellow attendee to save some money and are there speakers that you really want to meet at the conference and so a good idea is to contact them beforehand and say that hey I'm gonna be at this conference this weekend and I'd love to be able to connect and it doesn't have to be a formal email it could be a simple DM or a tweet but by making connections in advance it'll make it a lot easier for you that way you're gonna have some connections and some friends as you enter the first day and three is to immerse yourself in the community and so this is for the guys that want to break into a specific niche in an industry you want to get involved on social media long before you attend the conference so that the big players in the industry kind of know who you are by the time you get there and so you know engage with them on in their YouTube videos on their Instagram comments and share their articles on Twitter and Pinterest. It shows that you're not only serious, but that you know, you're know you a part of the community and that you're engaging and you know, you're know adding value. And so it really helps a lot if the big players already know who you are by the time you get there. And finally, find out where the speakers or the people that you wanna network with are staying and stay at that hotel. You, know, you can save some money by doing an Airbnb, but it really helps to be in close proximity to the guys that you wanna rub shoulders with. And so it's definitely a good idea to book a room in the same hotel. So here are some tips during the conference. You wanna arrive early and stay late. So if you can, definitely try to arrive a day before the conference starts. That way you can kind of get acclimated with the new city, maybe do a little bit of exploring or just rest up before the conference begins. Or you can meet up with the guys that you've already connected with on you know, the Facebook groups or on social media. Definitely gives you the opportunity to you know, get the ball rolling on the conference before the conference begins. And staying a day later is also a good idea because then you get the opportunity to explore the city. Like when I was in Atlanta for my first style con, I went to the Coca-Cola factory and I got to explore the Atlanta downtown area. It also gives you a chance to set up meetings or photo shoots with guys that you didn't really get to connect with during the conference. Another networking tip is quality over quantity. And so it's better to leave the conference with one to two quality contacts over a pocket full of business cards. And so you wanna focus on quality contacts over working the room like a madman. Another tip is to find your tribe. And so these are the guys that their message most resonates with you. And so who do you see yourself emulating, the guys that you can see yourself following in the footsteps of? Find these guys and go deep with them. You know, really pick their brains and learn everything you can from them. Another network Working tip, don't be afraid to surround yourself with giants. Look around, you know, if you see yourself as the most, the least qualified person in the room, then that's a good thing. You really gotta challenge yourself and believe that you can get to that level someday. And so, you know, it's good to be in a room full of guys that know so much more than you because you can learn so much from them. So challenge yourself and believe that you're already on their level or at least striving to get there someday. Another tip is to listen to people and be vulnerable. And so we're all humans and we all seek a human connection. And so the best way to get that connection is through telling our stories. And so it's a good idea to listen to other people's stories and also tell your own story, you know, open up, be vulnerable. And that's the best way that you're gonna make a connection. Second to last tip, the magic happens after hours. And so be sure that you're gonna go attend the evening mixers and evening events after the conference has wrapped up. And this is really where the magic happens. More than likely, there are gonna be groups of people going out at night. And so it's a good idea to join in with a few of these groups. And if you're tired, you know, try to push through it. But, you know, if you really need that rest, then go and, go and rest. But uh, 
you know, I like to try and stay out as late as I can just to make the most of the entire weekend. It's a good way to just have fun, relax, and get to know the other attendees even more and also, you know, potentially make deals, collaborations. You can talk about, you know, pretty much anything is fair game. And so don't be afraid to go for the ask. You know, granted you've been adding value, you know, like Gary Vaynerchuk says, jab, 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 right hook. And so start asking if you can be a contributor for a guest blog post or if you can do a collaboration with another influencer that, you know, you've been wanting to work with, for example. But yeah, the magic really does happen after hours. Finally, a tip for meeting your idols. And and so, you know, the first thing is to just remember that they are normal people, just regular guys like me and you. And sometimes it's not that easy meeting people that you really admire for the first time because, you know, you might come off as like you're just fangirling over them and constantly complimenting them and, you know, that is definitely not the way to approach it. Though it's natural to feel that way, there are other ways to go about it. So yes, you can give compliments, but you know, straddle the line. Just be honest with them. So if they've affected your life in some way, then let them know. Tell them about a piece of content that really helped you out and let them know that you respect and admire them if you do. You know, they'll definitely appreciate that as well. But when you're talking, just talk to them like you would a peer or a friend. And when you're wrapping things up, be sure to give them your business card because you never know, you know, even though they might already follow you on social media or already know of you, but um, it's a good idea to just have that business card out and then follow up with them, you know, as soon as the conference concludes. All right, that's all for this video on how you can crush it at your next conference and some networking tips. Hope you got some value out of this video. I'm gonna be back with some more style videos very soon, but thank you as always for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.